And last topic we are going to be doing in Unit 5, well, on this section of Unit 5, excuse me, I wish it was the last topic in Unit 5, is on page 96, Oxidizing Agents. Um, you need to know this little list. Uh, there, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, in fact, I think this is the only, yeah, this is the only slide I have for this section, and you need to know this list. You need to know these elements, uh, these compounds, rather. Um, oxidizing agents. I like to use the analogy of, imagine for a second that I go to Hollywood. I like to think that I have a good singing voice, and I imagine that if I ever got in front of a camera, I could be a good actor. Um, I need a little bit of practice. I've never done it before, but I like to think I could be a good actor, um, and contribute well to whatever project it is that I'm working on. And I would like to go do that. But in order to be successful at it, I probably need an agent. I probably need somebody who knows people, could get me in touch with people, and help find jobs that are appropriate for my type of character. An agent gets jobs for me. They don't get jobs for themselves. They get jobs for me. Now, of course, by helping me out, they get a percentage of uh, off the top and they help themselves out but they're not doing it for their own sake they're doing it to help somebody else same thing goes for oxidizing agents oxidizing agents do not try to get themselves oxidized they're trying to help something else get oxidized so what type of things are they trying to get oxidized then hmm. well basically what this means is that more or less they're trying to get something to acquire oxygen that's what a lot of oxidation reactions happen to be. Not all oxidation reactions are the gaining of oxygen, but for our purposes in this course, the majority of them are. And in fact, you'll notice as we go through here and look at these formulas, just about every one of these compounds contain oxygen. So let's look at that real quick. Oxygen is O2. Hydrogen peroxide is h 2 O2. A lot like water, but with an extra oxygen. And that oxygen is not a normal oxygen, it's peroxide. Nitric acid is H, and I'm zooming in, I don't want to zoom in, HNO3. Perchloric acid is HCl for chlorine, and four oxygens. And then sodium per manganate is manganese with four oxygens. If you'll notice here, every one of them contains oxygen. And what they're basically going to do in a reaction is they're going to give up some of their oxygen to something else and make that reaction occur. They're going to help that reaction happen. Oxygen is the most common oxidizing agent. It's very obvious. If oxygen reacts with you, it's, you're probably combining with the oxygen. You gain oxygen, now you're oxidized. Hydrogen peroxide is an antiseptic. Nitric acid acts rapidly, turns exposed skin brown. Perchloric acid is a powerful oxidizing agent. And sodium permanganate is, reacts easily with water and releases heat. Notice that a couple of these are acids. The sodium permanganate is arguably a salt, but I don't think that really matters for anything. Um, but these are very much... Oxidation reactions include things like rusting. They include things like explosions. Rapid burning is an oxidation reaction. Um, they can be very fast, like burning gasoline. They can be very slow, like iron rusting. They always release energy. And oxidation reactions are very vital for everything that goes on in the world. So um, do get familiar with these. You need to know this list of five um, examples. You need to know this for your test. I cannot emphasize that enough.